What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy, Boogie Gaines, the Flyer Sensei, and you are watching Boogie's Dojo. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment. It's your first time kicking in the dojo. Subscribe. So today, we got another unboxing shock drop of the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. About to go to work. I'm going in. Listen. What up though so welcome back so we got another special unboxing your sensei didn't hit another shock drop and this was the air jordan one royal reimagines but excuse me it was an exclusive access guarantee for your boy because they already had the type of requirements you needed first you had to take an l on the air jordan 3 reimagine cements i took an l then Back in 2021, I took an L on the Air Jordan 1 Bread Patents, and your boy, that was the first time he was getting back to the single game, so I had no type of skin in the game, so your boy took an L on that. So all those L's lead up. That's what I always say before. Don't get mad at the L's you get. They keep all those records. That's all your stats, your L's, and your W's. Sometimes it adds up, because over the year and the beginning of the year, I just kept getting L's on GR's, a couple of special kicks I didn't get couple L's so you never know it might matter later on down the line you feel me so we got the air Jordan one whatever you man I haven't seen these joints you already see already in the box so let's get it right here go ahead and get the whoop, there we go that's how Nike does it a little special pool tab get this out of there your boy is messing up <laughs> Right, y'all gonna get that first reaction next week and see. Woohoo! Man, gotta love these boxes. The Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagine as it come in the Air Jordan 1 box. Got that Royal Blue on there. And as you can see, this is my personal size 12 Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG USA size 12 black royal blue and white and y'all let me know in the comment section did you guys get ea did you guys going for these are you not going for these so we gonna get into it so come with that white paper right there and as you can see they are both wrapped up in the white paper they started doing that now i think after the air jordan one chapter two miles morales they started doubling up and they double up on my paper with the, with the shoes Oh, I don't want to mess these things up, man, jeez. So here we go, yes sir, the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. This is the first time you've seen these joints, and my first look at these, I'm going to say these are actually clean. You know, it gives, I already knew it was all going to be all suede, so I kind of knew to what to expect. But, you know, overall, I would say, you know, it has that, all suede feel to it. it does give me that thing of the Air Jordan 12 flu games back in 2009. I want to say 2009. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that suede feel. And it's like, you know, that's what you had to kind of like give that different appeal. And even though we just want the OGs and the leather, these going to be worth a lot. And I actually checked the flu games and those in good condition are up. So who knows down the line, these are going to be up because you already got your version of the Air Jordan, Air Jordan 1 Royal um, Royals. So let's get into it, y'all. So on the outer sole, you got that blue. And right on the back of the heel, it's a real type of smooth suede, a little rough, but not too rough on the back of the heel, that blue. Now, a lot of people were saying that it's not the same as the blue uh, on the Royals, on the leather Royals as well. Now over here in the mid, Real smoother, the suede is a little bit smoother there. On the toe box, same type of suede you got there. On the heel, around the mug guard, that smooth suede. White on the midsole, as you got that black, that's not suede with the jump, the air, 
you know what I'm saying, logo right there. Tongue, black tongue. Come with black shoelaces, and it come with blue laces. Now, I see a lot of people using the black laces, but I think I want to do the blue laces, or maybe one black, one blue. Kind of how I did my patents to kind of give his own identity if I go back for another royal. But I was thinking I might not, not go for another royal because I have the Marina Blues that came out. I want to say that was last year. And I thought about it. So I really don't need these. I think these would do. And I like my Marinas overall. But what I want to do something special. We're going to do is leave these out here. So leave these out here for now. Because there's so much talks of... You know, the Roy, the reimagines and what we got coming out. I know next year we have the Air Jordan 1 bread. No, no, I'm sorry, bread. The Black Toe reimagined. We got the Black Toe Lows this year. Check out my video. I did a review on those. So next year we're getting the reimagined. Now we know how Nike does it. We know Nike not to, they don't want to do the same thing over and over again. Like we thought with these, we thought we was gonna get the same thing as the lost and found materials, kind of distressed, old looking, vintage looking, but Nike said, nah, you guys are gonna get the suede, royal blue, reimagined, just like that. So here are the shoes that I took an L on. I had to get them so on a secondary market. So we're gonna do the kind of like a battle of the reimagines. And these are the patent breads I got right here. I'm trying to get with the there you go. Y'all can see the Jumpman logo on there. So we got the patent breads, and I wouldn't, I don't know why they put this in the Reimagine series because I feel like the Reimagine series wasn't really talked about until the Lost and Found were first announced and they got up on the scene, and that's where the name came from before it became Lost and Founds. It was the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Reimagine, then they said no Lost and Founds. Then they said this was a Reimagine. And people going crazy over these. I wanted me a pair. I remember everybody had these pair. with Foot Locker. As soon as the year 22, they kept dropping them over and over again. Couldn't get them at all for retail. So you got those. So this is another reimagined, which is patent. And then we got the relic of all Air Jordan 1s. What I felt like was shut all the Air Jordan 1s down is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds. And I'm going to leave my video at the end. Of this, I did a review on these, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Found. And these are the cream of the crop, what everybody always talk about, their favorite. They still want these over any of these or any of the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. But y'all let me know out of the reimagined series for the Air Jordan 1s, which ones you guys rocking with. Is it the Royals? Is it the Patent Breads? Or is it the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds? And you know, we're all thinking that with the Black Toes, this type of style, distressed on the top, you know, look like it's been worn already. I think if they did it, that would be cool because people are still hungry for these joints right here. So y'all let me know. So, all right, you guys, I'm about to wrap this thing up. Oh, before I do that. So out of this, overall what I like, I'm gonna give these joints, my Ninja Star rating, eight Ninja Stars, dope sneaker, my personal opinion. I would just say, you know, it's coming out on November 4th, uh, as far as the secondary market, I saw that they're not going for too much. And some people are like really passing on these. I was on Roscoe's Live. A couple people had um, exclusive access. They said they'd rather just wait. But be careful of waiting because Finish Line has stopped doing, they haven't stopped doing them, but then they're slowing up the exclusive access. And that kind of brought me back to why. I want to say is that I remember Nike actually will stop giving a lot of Foot Locker, Foot Stores, and stuff like that. Retailers, they stopped giving them so much stock and inventory. So we know that Dick's Sporting Goods are giving the Cherry 12s, the EA and stuff like, I'm sorry, the Reserve and stuff like that. So I'm not sure that, you know, these will be on exclusive access on Finish Line if you're hoping on that. So I would say do your footwork, check your um, Foot Stores. Also, man, check your boutique, see if they get a couple pairs in the D. Shout out to 218, Barn Rubber. And they always get some good pairs in, so... From there, I would say good luck. You know what I'm saying? It's a dope shoe, my personal opinion. And just make sure you get that water repellent. It's all suede, you know, protect it, keep it clean. And that is going for me. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Boogie Games. Follow me on TikTok, Boogie's Dojo. Follow me on Threads, Boogie Games. And I will kick it with you guys later. Peace and sayonara.
Yeah. I just showed up the paint. Feel me? 